Before I start this story, please be aware of my appearances. I look pale, my eyes are sunk in due to three blood transfusions. My body wasn't strong enough to survive the surgery without blood being replaced. My surgery and the way I feel right now, my eyes finally went down. They were swollen so big, I didn't know how long that was going to last. but. I thought maybe today that I would go into debt on how and start with the beginning story on how um, I ended up with these uh, injections. Okay, this is how I started. Um, so I went on to, of course, it's always the internet. The internet is the death of all of us. So I went on to the internet. There was this girl um, in a form. And she was asking, do anybody need injections? And I was like, yeah, I contacted her and I messaged her on there and I asked her about the injections and she um, told me that she would give, give me her number. And then finally we talked to each other and she was telling me to come to the Bronx, or to the Bronx to meet her. And I asked her before the girl got inside the home, like, who will be the injector? Like, did she have any license? Was she a nurse? Um, she was, like, told me that she was, uh, she did say that she would, the girl that's coming is a nurse. So, I really believed her. I don't know why I believed her. I didn't have that much understanding of the magnitude of the problem I was in. I, I just, all I know is I wanted a bigger booty. Um, I'm an adult entertainer, so um, I wanted to, you know, make more money, see if it would help me in my career. Like, I was also, uh, I was a model also in Staten Island. Like, I model for different people. I've done a whole lot of stuff with my body, but I thought that maybe if I would, you know, um, I thought that maybe if I would put the time and energy and money invested off into the injections, I would get exactly what I wanted. You know, I'll get more this, more that, more money, more whatever. And don't get me wrong, guys. I got more money. I got a house. I got freaking so many different cars and I still got all the shit that I had you know accumulated over time but still was it worth it I'm sitting here well in this hotel all the way in Columbia wondering was it really worth me having those two Mercedes was it really me getting a house and all the shit that I accomplished was it worth me dying and being disfigured and you know, everybody know the answer. If you're watching me right now, please, please, please do not get this stuff injected into your body. Thank God. Like, I know people die from BBLs, but I promise you, if I, I would... I would have five or six, the money I spent trying to get this stuff removed, I could have had at least 10 BBLs. This next clip is Dr. Torres explaining, um, examining his work. It was good. Guys, I need to tell you, if you guys should definitely come to Columbia and get it did if you have this problem, because I've tried in America, and a lot of doctors in America not experienced 
a lot of Colombian girls did do injections here. And they ended up, uh, that's why he specialized in it so well, because a lot of people did inject themselves in this country. And he had time and a lot of time over the years to study and um, understand the craft of it. So please, if you go to the U.S. and try to get this did, um, you might get butchered. But this is right here is Dr. Carlos Torres, and he is an absolute genius. This man knows exactly what he's doing. He don't have no depths, no nothing. Like everything he does, it it comes out nice. So I hope very, you guys very, very um, come to Colombia if you ever have a problem like this. If you have a disfigurement, no he he, he is he specializes in reconstruction. Mm -hmm. Every time that you go to the restroom, to the bathroom, I want you to wash it with water and soap just to okay. keep it clean. Okay. Okay. ¿Cuánto drenó aquí? Todavía no me he metido con eso porque Oye, parece que está drenando sí, poco. Está drenando poco. Vale. Dejémoslo hasta el lunes que dile que ya probablemente vamos a retirar el lunes. ¿Qué otros drenes tiene ella? Ya, ese ¿Ese de qué lo, de qué lado es? De aquí de la parte de adelante. Acuérdese que se deben de unir, ¿no? El de aquel lado y el de que lo que son Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Sí, eso Pero todavía lo mantenemos. Sí, dile que entonces probablemente lo vamos a dejar hasta el lunes. We are keeping those. Un escalón como una mm -hmm. pared ahí que quedó súper. The area that look like a walk in the middle, mm -hmm. it's gone. Really? Yeah. Eh, very good. Eh, dile, le voy a mostrar la, la foto. Okay, let's head back to the story. You know, when I met her, I was trying to figure out like, what would she get out of this? Like, what is she going to get out of uh, helping me inject myself with, you know, helping me get the injections? But come to find out, because I had just got my breast did, but I had went to a top doctor. I went to a doctor in Lower Manhattan over there by, like, right across the street from Central Park. Like, the one of the top plastic surgeons did my boobs. It's just with the... BBL, I really didn't understand it at the time. The year was 2015, maybe. And it wasn't that big just yet. So I didn't, you know, I would have went with that. I had the money to do that. The money, I spent like $2,000 just inject, getting these injections. So, but, so I was sitting in the living room talking to the girl. She was telling me about how one girl that got injected by her was... And one, uh, I can't think of what's the name of the video, but she was in videos and stuff. And she was, you know, who was just talking. And I'm like, so what you getting out of this? So she don't say nothing. But when we go into the room, when the girl get there. There, the girl started injecting her in her breast with silicone. And at some point she had to stop because... It was too painful, and I was just glad. I'm like, oh, I'm so glad it's just my butt houses. I can't even imagine, like, putting that stuff. If I, oh, my God. I can't even imagine putting this stuff inside my breast. Oh, my God. Like, that's, that's, like, right by my heart. Like, the stuff is just so toxic. It's like... Toxic, like, understand me. The shit is toxic. I'm talking about you every fucking day of your life. You're gonna remember you got these injections in your body and it's gonna fucking hurt you. I'm telling you. But anyway, so it was my time after she, the girl, gave up because she couldn't take the pain. And I felt kind of bad for her, but not really because she know what she was setting me up for, but. She was subjecting herself to the same thing, though. Like, maybe she didn't know. I don't know. But all I know is, it was my time. And it took about three hours I let this girl inject the silicone into my body for, like, three hours. My boyfriend stayed in the car the whole three hours waiting on for me. He laid me down in the car. He didn't know what was going on. I mean, my boyfriend at the time... He didn't know nothing about no injections. My boyfriend was a white Caucasian male 
and most of my boyfriends were, Cauc were Caucasians or white. So he really didn't even care about my butt or none of that stuff. All he cared about was me. But I still, I was just thinking about like how much money I'm going to make, you know. And I didn't tell him, but I think deep down when we was going home, I was like in pain. I really wasn't talking to him. He really wasn't saying nothing to me, but I know that he knew what I had did to myself. So after that, um, I get home, I look in the mirror. I really don't see a big difference, but I'm like, whatever, you know, but as time start going on, Mm. If I tell you guys, this stuff don't just, it don't just set in your body and it don't just set in your body, it starts expanding. It's silicone. When you put those little balls of silicone like they have in water, it expands. And it started to expand and expand and expand and expand. Like at first I was 150. When that silicone was done with me, I was 201 pounds, and it was all sil it was mostly silicone and the expansion it had did on my body, on my buttocks. It just expanded. So about two or three weeks go by, and I feel like ain't nothing happening. So I call her again, give her another G. So it's like 1500, 1500. So I guess about 3000. So she pumped me up again. We sat there and talked and everything. She came all the way to Jersey. And I remember she left her scarf. I will never forget that she left her scarf. And when someone doing something for me or to me and they leave it behind, I always take it. Because that energy that she put in me, I want to get right back to whoever. So, you know, she injected me and started telling me that I could be doing this and um it's not gonna cause i mean it's gonna make me a lot of money she left me with syringes she left me with some of the actual um uh, silicone and i was like yes but so a month go by and i noticed something weird happening to my body i noticed discoloration i noticed disfigurements coming or kind of like after about a year I was done I was completely disfigured back there I was done I was done I was fucking done and I was so fucking mad at that girl and I kept that same energy for a long time cuz I'm like yo where is she at like where is she at when is that gonna catch her cuz this woman know back to the story so, um, I was wondering what happened to her. And so one day I pick up uh, my phone. One day, 2018, mind you, I got mine in 2015 injections. So I'm looking at the channel, um, 7 News, and I see on there, woman, woman dies from a legal injection, so... I'm reading a story. The mother of a woman killed by a round of illegal silicone injections was left in the dark by her daughter's death for a month. So this lady had been looking for her daughter for a whole month and couldn't find her. Like the only the, when she found out where her daughter was at, no, she just received a bill from the emergency room. That's how she knew her daughter was dead. Now our story is. This is what this girl, Tamara, that's her name, Tamara. She said her told me her name was Natalie, but on here it says, oh, wait a minute, that's the, well, her name is Tamara, the one who did the injections. Tamara, she told me, so, I'm, so I'm looking at the news and it's telling me that the girl was left inside the hotel room. And somebody went downstairs to call the cops, the ambulance, to let them know that somebody was upstairs sick, I guess. And so, by the time they got there, the girl was already dead. And this girl just left her.
I can't tell you how heartbreaking that was. And then, year ago by, I'm still wondering why haven't they prosecuted this girl yet? Like, she's in jail, yeah. Come to find out, they only gonna give her one to three years in jail. I'm like, one to three years for death? For all the stuff that this woman did to us, they're going to give her one or three years in jail. <sighs> Tomorrow, Mobley, the one who did my injections. So, 28 years old, unlicensed, she did hair. So... They actually did a chemical, they analyzed what was inside the actual injections. The girl, but the girl that I met that called herself Natalie, she told me that she was a nurse. She had been doing it for a long time. There was no, I know it don't take a rocket scientist to figure out, don't, don't do it. But I'ma just say, I felt like I've been in a slow death. Like a slow, like I've been dying slowly. And I know I have. Like, at some point, my heart started messing up. At some point, my lymph node system is messed up. It really affects your lymph nodes a lot. It, when you have something that's not filtering out your lymph nodes, it causes problems. It causes you serious problems. So, guys, I'm going to end this video. And, um, I think my next video might be the final reveal. So, I'll let you guys know.